Hi guys, I'm Alexia and today I'm going to be showing you how I do my brows. The first step is brushing through my brows just to make sure that they're nice and brushed through and in place where we want them to be. Today I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow for this. I use this every single day and this is in the shade Dark Brown. I always go in with an angled brush so we can define our brows. Today I'm going to be showing you two types of brows. I'm going to be showing you my feathery, easy, everyday brow and then I'm going to show you my more defined and bold brow. So first what we're doing is just underlining the brow making sure that there are no sparse areas in the brow and now what we're doing is we are kind of extending the brow out a little bit just to make sure that our brows are the same size because one of my brows are a little bit longer than the other so we just want to make sure that they're the same length after this what we're going to start doing is filling in each brow making sure that all of the areas are nice and even I like to fill in my brows nice and lightly. I don't go, like to go in too hard with them because then they'll look less natural and less realistic and just look too dark for my face. So I like to just lightly fill them in with a little hair strokes just lightly pressing down on the brows. Now this next thing is something that you can either choose to do or choose not to do, but I personally love doing it, is I like to make little tiny hair strokes in the beginning of my brow because that's where you want your brow to be the lightest. So I don't like to go too hard with my brush or anything, just very lightly on the brow. And then just continuing to fill in any sparse areas. So what we always do to one brow, we always got to do to the other. Now to make the brow a little bit more defined, I like to go in with the Naked Urban Decay Concealer and we just define the bottom of the brow. Lately, I haven't been going and defining the top of my brow because I feel like it just leaves it a lot more natural. So I like to only do the bottom of my brow, define that out, and of course, we got to do that to both sides. After I go in with the concealer on both brows, I like to go in with my MAC Cosmetics Eyebrow Gel and this definitely helps define the brows a lot more, sculpt them out into the position that you like them to be. This is honestly one of my favorite things to use for my brows. It just makes them look a lot more real and wispy and fluffy and pretty, especially if you want that natural brow day. So these are the finished, natural, everyday type of brow and now I'm going to be going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow and I'm going to be showing you guys how I make them a little bit more bold. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going and overlining the brow a little bit. Sorry that I'm out of frame a little. But yeah, so we go in and we just overline it. We don't want to put too much pressure because it won't make it look as natural even though these are more bold brows. We still want it to look still natural. As you can see here, these are my natural brows compared to my bold brows. And voila, we got both of our bold brows on now. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I do my natural brows compared to my bold brows. I change them up a lot and I love doing brows. I just feel like it really makes a difference to the face. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.